welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would show you guys three ways to make some DIY poke bowls. Originally I was calling them poke bowls, but I'll put the pr uh, proper pronunciation here so you guys will know how to say it too when you're eating it. I'm going to be making three variations of this Hawaiian inspired dish and I've been absolutely obsessed with poke bowls. So I thought I would share with you guys some fun, easy recipes so you can enjoy them at home as well. Let's get started. The first step to make a poke bowl is to start off with a base. You can use basmati rice, quinoa, or even soba noodles, which are completely gluten-free. Actually, all three of these options are gluten-free, which is really great if you're trying to avoid that. Next, you'll wanna pick some fun, fresh toppings to top your poke bowls with. Here are some different options. Pea shoots, carrots, mango, edamame, jalapeno, watermelon radish, red cabbage, cucumber, cherry tomatoes, seaweed salad, avocado, pomegranate seeds, corn, chopped shallots, and kimchi. Next, you'll wanna choose a dressing to marinate your protein with. Here are some fun options that you can use. Soya sauce, rice vinegar, veganaise, honey, shallots, ginger, sriracha, lemon juice, lime juice, toasted sesame oil, and garlic. Next up, you'll wanna pick your protein. Some options are sushi grade salmon, sushi grade tuna, imitation crab, and if you're vegan or vegetarian, you can also just do some chopped grilled tofu. Lastly, you'll wanna pick some fun items to garnish your poke bowls with. Here I have cilantro, toasted coconut flakes, roasted seaweed, and sesame seeds. First up, we have my California style poke bowl. In a bowl, we're gonna marinate our protein. Add in your salmon, shallots, soy sauce, rice vinegar, grate in a bit of ginger, Top it off with some sesame seeds. Give it a stir and set aside for five to 10 minutes to marinate. I then added carrots, cucumber, avocado, seaweed salad, pea shoots, and red chilies. Add a scoop of your marinated salmon and some imitation crab. I'm gonna garnish it with some roasted seaweed, cilantro, and sesame seeds. And there you have it, a California style poke bowl. Next up, we have my Hawaiian style poke bowl. For this one, you'll need some tuna, some soy sauce, rice vinegar, toasted sesame oil, some honey, chopped shallots, some lime zest, and sesame seeds. Give it a toss and set it aside for five to 10 minutes to marinate. Add it in some radish, avocado, carrots, fresh mango, pea shoots, and red chilies. Top it off with your marinated tuna, and for garnish, I have sesame seeds and my toasted coconut flakes. And there you have it, a Hawaiian style poke bowl. Last but not least, we have a spicy kimchi poke bowl. In a bowl, add in your chopped grilled tofu, a little soy sauce, rice vinegar, shallots, veganaise, sriracha, toasted sesame oil, lemon juice, and sesame seeds. Give it a toss and set aside to marinate for five to 10 minutes. I'm starting off with my soba noodles, red cabbage, tomatoes, corn, edamame, avocado, and kimchi. Add in your marinated tofu, and then garnish it with some sesame seeds and green onion. And there you have it, a spicy kimchi poke bowl. Three amazing, fun, vibrant, delicious poke bowls that are just waiting for you to make this summer. Let me know which one is your favorite. I'm gonna have a poll in the top right corner. I would love to know which one you guys are most excited to make. Is it the California, spicy kimchi, or Hawaiian? All right, so that's gonna be it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my three variations of the traditional poke bowl. And if you guys try out one of these, be sure to leave me a comment down below, share a photo on social media. I feel like these bowls are very Instagram and Pinterest worthy. I have one here right in front of me. This is the California one. And so I have some imitation crab here. I have some quinoa, it's delicious. I have some avocado. I'm gonna take a bite and give it a little taste test. Mmm, so good. And like you're not even missing the seaweed because it's in here too. So fresh, so flavorful. I love the heat that comes through from the chili peppers. Definitely give one of these a try. They're delicious and you can definitely have like a pokey making party with your friends and family for dinner. 
And if you guys aren't already subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I post three times a week on my channel. I post Sunday recipes, Wellness Wednesdays, and Vlog Fridays. I also basically vlog every day on Instagram stories. If you aren't following me already there, it's at your health nut. And you can see some behind the scenes of what I do when I'm not on YouTube and some sneak peeks of future recipes that are coming up and whatnot. So you guys who already follow me, you saw all the sneak peeks for this one. Um, so join the health nut uh, Instagram family over there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a fabulous summer and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. So freaking good. This is going to save me so much money because poke bowls aren't cheap. Just make my own.